WAN 2.2 Animate is one of the most powerful AI models we have seen yet. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it to create mind blowing face swap videos completely on autopilot with a no code platform called N8N. All you need to do is upload a video, choose an image you want to swap the face with, and the AI takes care of the rest, automatically generating incredibly realistic results. We're entering a brand new era of content creation, one where producing cinematic high quality videos is faster, easier, and more accessible than ever before. This is your chance to take advantage of one of the biggest shifts we've ever seen in social media and content creation. No matter who you are, whether you're a creator, a business owner, or just starting out, the playing field is finally level. You don't need to code, you don't need to have a team, you don't need to hire any kind of professionals. You just need to start because now there is no excuse not to. All right, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zubair. I run the AI workshop community where all of these resources will be available for this video and all other videos in the community. Link in the description. One of the main things I want to point out is when you come to this section for each of these videos, you come to the bottom, click on NADN blueprint. You just download this so that way you can go to your NADN, which is a no code platform. Again, you can set up a free account, uh, for your NADN. And then all you have to do is come to the top right hand corner, click on these three dots. Click on import file and then you can just bring all of these resources over. That's as easy as it is. And of course, if you get uh, stuck in any of this, we provide tech support for all of these. And then also, if you're completely new to NADN, we have an entire beginners course. So check out the community. And then also we have an AI agency. If you want a AI agency course, where we walk you through step by step how to set up your agency if you wanted to monetize these. Anyway, so getting back to the video. So the way this works is all we have to do is click on execute workflow. Now this is going to bring up this form. What this is going to do is this is going to allow you to uh, insert a video and an image. And then all you have to do is just upload those, click on submit, and this is going to process the whole thing. So I'm going to do that in a little bit. Uh, but just to give you an idea, so I have chosen a sample video, which is this one right here. So this is just me talking about AI and the opportunity and stuff. So let me quickly play it. There are two types of people right now. Those who see AI as doom and gloom, and then those who see it as... All right, so it's like a 14-second clip, right? So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to add an image here. So I'm going to upload this video. And then also, uh, for those of you who have seen uh, a while back... There was this AI model, um, the Spanish AI model. This is not real as a completely AI model that went really viral because they were generating like $10,000 a month. So I just literally took a screenshot of this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and upload that. So we're going to go back to our form for the image. I'm going to click on choose file and then go to, uh, and grab that, uh, picture right there. So I'm going to double click on this so that way it gets uploaded. There you go. And then for the video, same thing. I'm going to go and just basically upload the sample video. So there you go. All you have to do is now click on submit. What this is going to do is this is going to submit this. And as you can see right there, it got submitted. Now the whole process is going to start. Now the way this workflow is set up, so I'm going to again, like I said, go through note by note and explain what's going on. Uh, uh, because this is going to take actually a couple of minutes to generate this video because uh, this is a pretty heavy model and because it uh, depending on the length of your video, uh, I would suggest to get started, maybe do like a five second to 10 second video just so you can test it out. And then afterwards, you can uh, try longer videos as well. But anyway, so uh, after the form gets submitted, so this is just basically a trigger form, as you can see right here, uh, the image and the video has been uploaded. And um, if you haven't set up a form submission and then it's very, very simple. All you have to do is click on the plus sign here and you just look for form. And if you just click on NADN form, right, this is basically a trigger. So it says on new and a 10 form event. So what this does is basically allows you uh, to add a new form element and then you can upload and you can put whatever you want. So, for example, if I go inside this one, which is the same thing. Uh, what you can see right here, this is your URL authentication. We're leaving as none. Um, and then all I'm doing is giving a description that upload an image to swap the face in the video. And then we're adding these form elements, right? So in NADN, you have the ability to add different form elements. You have to give it a name and then the different types. So obviously we're going to choose the file because this allows you to upload file. And that's what we're doing. We're just uploading an image and a video. So I'm just basically choosing two different elements, one for uh, video, as you can see right here, 
and then another one for image. That's all you need to do here. All right, so that's basically the form submission. So the next step is now we need to upload this video and this image somewhere in the cloud, so that way we can grab a URL for it. And that's where I'm using Cloudinary. So Cloudinary has a free account. So if you just go to cloudinary.com, basically you can sign up for a free account. They have, I think up to like, uh, so if I click on pricing here, uh, let's see, digital asset management, that's all we need. So they have a free account where you can upload up to 2,500 or 25 gigabytes worth of like assets, which means like videos and uh, images. Again, you can use Cloudflare, you can use Amazon AWS, whatever you want to use, totally up to you. I'm not sponsored by these guys, so whatever, but it's just that I've used them before because they have a pretty generous free account. All right, so that's what we're doing. The second step right here, so let me get rid of this. Uh, in the second step right here, I'm using an HTTP request node to upload both the video and the image to our Cloudinary um, assets. And if I go to my Cloudinary assets right here, so this is where uh, this is where all of your assets will be sitting. So if I just refresh the page, it should have uploaded that image and the file uh, for uh, and the video. There you go, right? So that image right there and the sample video has both been uploaded, which means that now we can utilize this using the URL. And the way to grab that, so if I go back to my N8N here, so if I go inside my HTTP request node, as you can see right here on the left-hand side, I'm, I, have, I have this image and the video that I recently uploaded in the form. We're reaching out to the Cloudinary API. So this is based on the API documentation. So if I go to my resources here, uh, this is the endpoint right here. It's api.cloudinary.com slash v1-1 and this auto upload section, which basically gives you the ability to upload uh, assets such as image and video into the API, through the API, so that way you can have access to it. So that's all we're, what we're doing here. Um, and then as far as authentication, it's going to be none. We're just going to be sending forum data uh, because we need to also name the preset. So the preset is going to be... Uh, on your account. So once you cre create your account, we'll, you'll have a preset name uh, where then you'll be able to upload all of that information there. So that's all I'm doing. I'm reaching out to um, the form data upload preset and then the value is just the name of the upload preset uh, that I have. By the way, if you're not familiar with Cloudinary, uh, feel free to uh, put your questions in the community. If you're part of my community, then I can go ahead and maybe create a video on that as well if you want, if you're not familiar with uploading this. But anyway, so I'm just uploading all of that data and presenting the name basically um, from my account details from my Cloudinary account. And then also for the parameter, right? Like I'm uploading for this particular one, I'm not uploading the video, right? So that's why I have to put the input data name field as video, which is the match right here. And I also have to do another one for our image as well, because we also have to upload our image into Cloudinary so that we can get our URL there. So if I double click on this one, I'm doing the same exact thing, but except this time I'm uploading the image here. So as you can see on the right hand side, now I have the secure URL, which is basically the URL to that particular image that um, just got uploaded to my Cloudinary account. So that's all I'm doing in this particular step. So the next two nodes are basically for both uh, image and video. I'm just cleaning this up so that way if I go inside, so this is just basically a set node. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm literally dragging the secure URL right here. I'm putting it right there because I just want to change the, the output to video. So as you can see right here on the left hand side, because uh, I don't want all of this stuff because this doesn't look very clean because all, all I need is basically the URL for that video and image. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just outputting so that way it's nice and clean for our next note there. Same thing with the image. That's all I'm doing. I'm literally grabbing the secure URL from here and dropping it right there. And this time I'm naming it image. So now we have nice image and a video output there so that way we can use it very cleanly when we're reaching out to our WAN 2.2 there. All right, so the next note, we just need to merge these two, right? So that way we have both of that data pretty nice and clean as output. There you go. So now we have both the video and the image outputted in two nice little outputs. So now we can easily use it to our uh, our third uh, note or our next step, which is basically creating our video through file.ai with WAN 2.2. Now, if you're not familiar with file.ai, again, not sponsored by these guys, feel free to use whatever you want. There's Kai.api, there's 
uh, Polo.ai. So there's a bunch of different these platforms where they basically give you the ability to reach out to these different models um, and um, basically uh, reach out to them via the API. And it's all kind of like one platform. So this is the documentation for uh, this particular um, WAN v2.2-14 b animate replace. So I'm using this documentation right here to reach out to our WAN 2.2 through this HTTP request node. So if I double click on this, so I'm literally reaching out to this particular endpoint, which again is all inside that uh, WAN 2.2 animate right here documentation. Uh, so I'm reaching out to this endpoint with a post request and you have to obviously have a header authorization, which is basically your API key. And then in the bottom, I'm just sending a few headers here. And then also the body. This is very, very important, right? Because I need to send the body, uh, which is going to include the video URL and the image URL. And this is why we have to upload our image and our video to our cloud nary so that way we can use the URL here because through the API, it only accepts a URL. So that's why you have to host your image and your video somewhere in order for you to be able to utilize this API request. So the video URL is literally coming from there. By the way, just copy paste this JSON instead of dragging and dropping it because if you just drag this, it's gonna uh, give you um, uh, an error. But essentially, or I mean, if you have already downloaded the workflow, then don't change anything. This should be automatically pulled over. And then also we need to specify the resolution because WAN 2.2 actually allows you, so if I go to submit request, uh, it allows you multiple re different resolutions. So right here, as you can see, resolution, uh, possibly 480p, 580, and 720. By default, it's going to be 480p. So that's why I am identifying the resolution to be 720p. Of course, it's going to be a, li a little bit more expensive. I think it's like 80, uh, 8 cents per minute or per second uh, of the video. So it's not that much. But, you know, I, I wanted to use the highest resolution. So that's why I am identifying uh, the 720p here. And that's literally all we need, just these three different uh, data points that we're sending to the body. And then this is just basically batching every 3,000 milliseconds, not not a big deal. So after you submit this, what ends up happening is this goes into queue, and that's why they give you a request ID. So while it's processing, you'll be able to actually uh, wait and send another API request to check out the status of the video that's being processed right now. And that's exactly what we're doing in this particular step. So this one, uh, after we create this, what we're doing is we're adding a wait node. So I'm just doing every one minute. I want to like iterate through this because like I said, this does take sometimes really long depending on how long your video is. Uh, so you put a wait node every minute or every two minutes or something like that. And then the next uh, node is going to be an HTTP request node. And here, all I'm doing is I'm reaching out to this particular endpoint, which is basically grabbing the status of this job that we just sent earlier, right? So as you can see right here, it says in progress. So the next node, what I'm doing, I'm putting an if node. So right here, so I'm saying if the status of that particular job is not equal, is equal to complete it, then go ahead and send this over to the next node, which is basically getting that final video URL. If it's not, which if it's false, which means that if it's anything but completed, it's going to go ahead and loop through again until this comes true. So that's why you can see right now it's kind of going through. I think the last couple of times I processed this, it took like literally sometimes like between 15 to 20 minutes because that's how long it takes. And that's normal. So don't worry about it if it takes that long. I would suggest kind of like set this up or uh, in, um, submit your form and your image and then go ahead and like take a break or something like that and come back after 20 minutes and uh, you should be able to get your video. So let's go ahead and let this process or let this finish. I think it's already been 11 minutes. Uh, it's probably going to take a few more minutes so then we can come back and grab our video uh, from our last node right here. So if I double click on the last node, all I'm doing is the same thing. I'm sending a git request to this particular API endpoint with this request ID, which is basically the ID right here. The request ID is right here. And we're just basically sending that to grab that video.
All right, so let's go ahead and let this process. By the way, while this is processing, if, as I mentioned before, all of the resources is going to be in the community. Uh, and so if you're new to NADN, we have an entire NADN for Beginners course where we teach you everything about automation, NADN, and everything you need to get started. And of course, all of my YouTube videos and all of the resources are all nice and clean here, uh, including how to uh, you know, the prompts and everything else. Um, and then, of course, we also have a Earn with NA10 Launch Your AI Agency course. So if you want to learn how to monetize these, we have our own AI agency. So we give you everything you need to make sure you're successful if you want to start your own AI agency or start uh, making money with AI because we are entering this amazing revolution that every business is going to require AI. Uh, and then we also have a voice uh, course as well, step-by-step -step course on how to sell voice agents uh, and also with retail specifically where you can get certified actually at the end. And of course, the best part of our community is the community members themselves. We have close to 800 members from all over the world. So chances are if you want to find somebody to work with, we have a great supporting community. So make sure you check out the community. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. This looks like it's still processing. I'm going to give us a few more minutes and wait till this thing finishes, and I'm going to come back. All right, so after a long time, uh, we finally got the video. So now all I have to do is click on this get video right here. So this is what it returns. It basically returns uh, the URL. So all I have to do is copy this, and then I can go ahead and paste this into new URL, and then it's going to download everything for me. There you go. So it got downloaded. So let me go ahead and open this up now. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to click play. There are two types of people right now, those who see AI as doom and gloom, and then those who see it as the biggest opportunity of our lifetime. Now, if you're in the second group, you are right. We are living in an AI gold rush, and the people who act now will lead the next decade. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty cool. Uh, let me actually open up and play these side by side so that way you can see exactly what this looks like. All right, so this was the original video, and that's the video there. So let me just mute this, mute both of them, and we'll get them started. Actually, just unmute this. There you go. You can see like even the head movements are very accurate. And I love that it captured kind of the background. It stays the background stays the same and it uh, captures the lip movement, the lip sync. Everything is great, it's including the eye movements. Everything is really aligned. I mean, this is a very powerful model, of course, uh, but you can see you can do a lot with this. So what I'm going to do actually on the next video, I'm going to create a full SaaS app using Lovable or Hosting or Horizons or some kind of a vibe coding app so that way you can actually start to like upload this the video and the image yourself from the front end and it will send this to the back end so that way and it then can process it and then send the video so stay tuned for that but uh, again hopefully you found that video helpful feel free to check out the uh, the community if you wanted to have any or if you're stuck with any questions or if you need any other help with any other workflows uh, i'm going to put the link in the description thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe because i've got a lot of content upcoming about this particular uh model and then also a few others that you don't want to miss thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one